Now the thruster is a hybrid movement. It has two pieces involved put together very smoothly. It's the front squat, the dumbbell front squat, and the dumbbell push press. Push press, not strict press. And we make a clear distinction between the two because in earlier series, you've seen the, the pressing series that we've done, but the press is strict. It means nothing moves but the arms, right? Well, in the push press, what we do is we, we produce momentum through the legs to forcefully thrust uh, move or load and the vertical plane. So there's some assistance. But to be able to do that right, you have to thrust your legs from the squat, press hard, feel that moment of weightlessness, and that's when we aggressively go into that press. And it really does assist in the thruster. But the timing's gotta be right. So we discuss that and make that distinction between press and push press. We are push pressing the weight, not strict pressing the weight from uh, using the thruster. Now the front squat, uh, if there's any gaping holes in the front squat, it typically has no issues done with the front squat. Uh, this is actually a pretty comfortable setup with those dumbbells, especially when you have this dumbbell setting here. We actually treat this as a rack position as we've discussed in earlier series, is you want the back of the dumbbell to rest on the shoulder. So when you go into the squat, we're not pre-exhausting the shoulders. This is a moment of rest for the shoulders. So we can use those legs and all legs as we thrust through the vertical plane. Super, super important as we discuss that. But the issue we see with the front squat, if there are any, is an issue of the body weight squat. Let me say that again, because this is super important. An issue that you might see on a front squat has nothing to do with the technique that they're producing because of the front squat. Because we know that the front squat is a movement or an advanced version of the air squat. So from the neck down, there is no difference between an air squat and a front squat. We have this position here on an air squat. We have this position here on the front squat. Now the only difference is the arm setup. So if we're looking at athlete can't get below parallel, they're rounding their back, there's probably something that we can clean up quickly and easily if we took the weight away from them and we just work through some air squats, create that awareness, make sure there's no deficiency there, then move to the front squat and see if they come in and they exasperate or, or if they still exist. If they still exist, then uh, then we know we got to come back to the drawing board and work through some mechanics. Um, in the training protocol, if it's asking for thrusters, you're going to reduce load immediately as you get the athlete to work through that depth a little bit more. Maybe instead of thrusters in the protocol, you just only a lot for front squats. Uh, so you make those modifications as needed. I think that's why CrossFit is so great, is um, that uh, the infinite scalability of our program and able to move uh, and make those modifications uh, as a professional. So that's super important as well. Front squat to push press, ride that weight back down. Just a couple more, try to put all those things that I've said together into one. Uh, it's a phenomenal skill to have uh, and to train with others.